Jenny Travel says, thank you, for, as always, sir. God bless you. Question. God bless you too, my sister. How do we prepare to be a wife? What are the important things, qualities we need to have? Great question. See, to answer that question, I can only tell you what a man looks for in a wife, but I would try to find an actual wife to get a bit, little bit more clarity and understanding of what a wife is. I can only tell you from a vantage point of a husband that has an amazing wife, right? So I cannot necessarily tell you how to prepare in, in full context of a wife, but I can tell you how to prepare for marriage, right? From a, from a biblical standpoint, understand what a wife does. Now, what a man looks for in a wife, a man looks for a wife who's whole, not perfect, but whole. Wholeness is important for a man because some of the things that a man holds, he needs a whole wife to help him hold because there's a lot of vulnerabilities of a man. A lot of things that and we, we live in a world that's not really ma uh, male sensitive. It's, it's not really focused on helping the men. Uh, 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 they're trying to eradicate uh, 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 genuine masculinity. So there's a lot of spaces in men and manhood where they, they put on their hoods to hide themselves because there's no way to really open themselves up and, and be vulnerable. So a wife must be prepared to be able to hold and not hold him as to savior or to hold to complete him, but to not be a rock when he needs a pillow. Not to be a dripping faucet where he's always on a roof. And if you tend to see that men usually are on roofs or rarely come home, then my friend, you, you know that you're a dripping faucet that a man doesn't want to go through. You also need to understand or try to talk to a man as well. A good a good male figure that says, okay, and you're asking me that, but I'll tell you this. A man also wants a gentle woman. A man doesn't want a strong woman. The world is too strong enough. A man is looking for a woman who has self-controlled strength. He's not looking for a weak woman. He's looking for a woman who has self-controlled strength, where she's able to tell you what she thinks and tell you how she feels, but it's not in a way that spills. It's a way that yields. You know what I'm saying? It's a way that heals. It's a way that that's comforting enough for you guys to come together and make deals, right? And so, so those are the things, wholeness, gentleness, fruits of the spirit. Let's walk through that together. In order, what a woman needs to focus on in regards to preparing for a wife is first starting with fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Because fellowship with the Holy Spirit helps you to embody. See, see, we're going to talk internal, we're going to talk external. The internalness of a woman needs to be the embodiment of the fruit of the Spirit, just like with a husband. So a wife has to first, before you even get the love, you have to be enlightened. The two highest four, the two highest, the four highest frequencies of Human energy is enlightenment, love, joy, and peace. Those are the four things that you need to focus on right now. If not, you won't then be patient. You won't then be gentle, faithful, self-controlled if you don't have those four things. See, a woman of God has to be enlightened. In order for a woman to turn into wife, because there's a lot of girls trying to be wives, a lot of women that's trying to be wives. It's, it's a maturation. It's going from girl to woman to wife to mother, to grandmother, to whatever, right? But it starts first with her being a daughter. If she's not a daughter, she will not become a woman. If she doesn't become a woman, she will not become a wife. If she's not a wife, she will not become a mother. Because a lot of women are prepared to have children, but they're not prepared to have a husband. There's a lot of women that want a husband to get them a child, but they're still a child themselves, and they don't even know how to, how to, how to be a wife to a husband. So there's an order to this. And so the first thing you have to be enlightened that you are a daughter that's loved by God and who enjoys his presence where there's a fullness of joy and whose shoes are shot with the preparation of peace, who's a peaceful person. And so you see that, that the first four things that a woman has to work on, because if she don't have these internal traits, it doesn't matter what she externally tries to do with a husband or with children, she's going to flop. She has to be enlightened on who she is as a child of God, as a daughter of God. She then has to be enlightened on what the word of God says for her as a woman, as a wife, in regards to modesty, when it comes to her words, how it comes to her temperament. And, and she has to embody that from an enlightenment standpoint, because when a person is enlightened, you can't you can't frighten. When a person's enlightened, you can't frighten. And so when she's enlightened about who she is and her confidence in God, and when she reads Psalms 137, that she knows she's fearfully and wonderfully made, then she can embody the patience. Then she can embody the, the, uh, 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 the gentleness, the, the, the self-control and the faithfulness, et cetera, et cetera. 
when you focus on the top half, being enlightened, embodying love, knowing that you love by God, so you're doing everything from love, not for love, because a man doesn't want a woman who doesn't know that she's loved, because now he has to be her dad. No husband wants to be his wife's dad. So you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so a woman has to know that she's loved so that she can rise above. If not, she's going to cause her husband to be shoved. And her husband's not going to want to come home because she's expecting her husband to be her daddy. Now, you can, he can be your daddy in the bedroom, but we're talking about, we're talking about being your dad. There's a big difference. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But if you, so you got to know that you love by God because you become a burdensome when you're looking to your husband to do the love that only God can do. So now your husband doesn't have to, doesn't have to work extra to out, try to out love your daddy issues. So if you have daddy issues, mommy issues, personal issues, and, and you're trying to find a man to love that mess out of you, you got to go to the first man first. You got to go to Christ and let him love the, the, uh, the lovelessness out of you so that you can be able to do things from love, not for love. Next, you got to be a joyful person. No husband wants to be around a, a, a sad, depressed woman all the time. He needs a woman that's in the presence of God so that the joy of the Lord be her strength. So that he doesn't have to carry unnecessary weight because you're just flopping down because you're sad. Do you know how heavy depression is? Do you know how heavy uh, a sadness is? Do you know how heavy resentment is? Do you know how heavy unforgiveness is? So if you stand on a scale right now, do you know that scale is not telling you the truth? Because that scale cannot weigh depression. That scale cannot weigh uh, resentment. That scale cannot weigh unforgiveness. And so if you haven't gone to the presence and if you're not tapped into the presence and you don't know how to go to the presence when you feel weak, then my friend, you're going to be too much of a weight to that man. A man needs a woman who knows how to filter herself through the presence of God before it gets back to him. He should not get the fiery of your feelings. He should not get your feelings have to be funneled through the presence of God. Vent strong to God. Vent your frustration to God. Get into this presence so that you'll leave his presence. Or stay tapped into his presence and be full of joy so that you won't be a, 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 a issue to your husband. Next, you got to be a peaceful woman, not problematic. So you see that when a woman is enlightened, let's go for husbands too. You can just kind of supplement wife out and put husband in. But when a woman is enlightened about who she is a child of God, then she'll begin to bask in his presence. She'll be at Christ's feet and, and, and she'll put her sin, she'll put her issues on the cross and, 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 and she'll be a, a woman that grows in the things of God. And she'll be loving, she'll be joyful, and she'll be peaceful, which then will help her to become patient, gentle, and the rest of the fruit of the spirit. He says, and what are the important things, qualities we need to have? Those are the big things. Those are internal things. And those things will flood out because now you will cook with joy. You will clean with joy. You will work your job with joy. Then you, you, you will walk in love with whoever. You won't allow the disrespect of this woman over here that to come into your spirit and soul and shake up all those wounds in you. And now you're putting those wounds on him. And then you begin to say, okay, now that I have the mindset, now let me develop the skill sets. Now, what type of man do you want, Jenny? That's what you got to start thinking about. Because if you want a six foot six man that provides looking like a linebacker for the Seattle uh, Seahawks, that man love to eat. So you got to be able to say, hey, man, am I good at my cooking? I'm not saying that women always got to cook. There's a lot of men who want to cook, too. But at the end of the day, you got to cook for your own survival. You got to at least get, get, get at least get five good rotating meals. Get five good solid meals. Get you a good uh, a, a, a pasta dish. Be very good at be very good at one of those pasta dishes, whether it's lasagna <clears throat> or spaghetti and meatballs. Be very good at a pasta dish. Be very good at a soul food dish. Now, I'm just talking about, I don't know what kind of man you want. You know, it depends what kind of be Develop a good breakfast. Men love, well, at least I, I love breakfast. A lot of men love breakfast. I'm talking about get good with your grits. Get good with your pancakes. Know how to do the eggs. Make sure there's no shells in there, right? Get very good at uh, 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 some healthy stuff too. See what I'm saying? Be, get get help. Like if you want a man to be there, then cook for that man and prepare meals for the type of man that you want to stay. Also, cleanliness is next to godliness. You know, be okay with learning how to clean a house really good, keeping a good house. But just don't focus on keeping a good house. You know how to keep a good spouse. A lot of women are only good at keeping houses, but not spouses. So you got to develop your skill set, cooking, cleaning, uh, encouraging, uh, uh, praying for like the spiritual skill sets, mental skill sets, verbal skill sets, relational skill sets, financial skill sets. Go out there and go get it skill sets. 
I'm not saying that if you want to be a kept wife and be at the home, then you got to say, okay, I got to develop home skills and also management skills just in case my husband wants to build an empire. If you're a working woman and you guys are working together, develop co uh, cohabitating skill sets when it comes to doing business together. So focus on the will, then focus on the skill, and then, man, you'll be out there in the marital field before you know it. Hope to help.